Regular Massive, we're in Kingston, Jamaica on 56 Hope Road, the famous address with Alex Marley. Alex, how are you feeling today? Blessed love, Munchy, the whole of Reggaeville, the whole of Germany, Europe, one love, Rastafari. So, all is well with you? Yeah, man, all is well, you know, we're giving thanks for life and life is giving thanks for us and, you know, the whole vibration. It's a pleasure to be our Uncle Bob house and, you know, you know, be an angel, walk these grounds, you know. Yeah, man. And the people can see you have the guitar right here already. You're a musician and yeah. you're a singer as well. Um, please tell me a little bit about your music. What what is the music that you do, and also the lyrics? What what type of lyrics you like to write? What are the issues you like to address with your music and stuff? Well, I like to write positive lyrics that uplift people, you know, and give them energy to do what them have to do and unite human race, peace, love, you know, um, racial equality, everything, just one love for the whole human race. Mm -hmm. Music that is soulful music coming from the heart. We like to write music with melodies and harmonies and arrangements and compositions. You know, can I play various instruments, guitar, saxophone, etc. So, you know, and we like live music, because if you not live, it dead, you know, where <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, man, naturally. Nice, nice. Speaking of live music, you have brought your music live to the people them already. Um, you have toured in the States a lot, a lot, a lot. How was the experience like? Touring in the States was a great pleasure, you know, because I never knew the world was so big. And I go to America and it's huge. And then in America is a place where people from all over the world live there. So traveling there, you meet people from different countries from every country in the world. So it's it's like a melting pot of all the peoples of the world. So it was a great learning experience for me. And to just see the love of people have for Jamaica and Rastafari and Uncle Bob and the whole vibration, it, it was it was very humbling for me, you know? And I was blessed to be on a lot of big festivals. I did um, Bat Fest in Texas, 60,000 people. I was the only reggae act on it. I did South by Southwest. Um, which you know is like a block off a whole of downtown Austin. I have 300,000 people. Um, and then um, I did reggae in the hills in Northern California. Big up all my fans in California, you know. Um, two years in a row, Yellow Man, Bushman, Kiman, the Marley Steel Pulse, Cape Luton was on it. And um, I did Louisiana, I met Shaquille O'Neal, you know. And a lot of people, I went Rhode Island, you know, right there above New York. And that was a nice Roger Williams University. But of course, one, one little place we can't forget in the States is Hawaii, where you also went, right? Yes. How, was, how was it like? Even though it's so hard when you say it's in the States, even though yeah. it's an American yeah. colony, but yeah. I always think of Hawaii as a separate place, yeah. a special place. It is, it's Hawaii is by itself, you know. Um, as a surfer and somebody deal with the ocean, it was it was a great experience because I performed in Oahu, North Shore. That's where like all the big surfers live, all the pro okay. surfers, and you know the Volcom Surf House there. And we, I mean, I grew up watching surf movies, so it's okay. like ah. And then I met Garrett McNamara, who surfed the biggest wave in the world. Four days after, he took a picture of me and his wife. And since cause he took the picture of me, but he broke the world record and surfed a hundred foot wave in Portugal. So. And then the concerts were so low in Hawaii, so that was when I did one in Hawaii, one on Big Island. So I'm supposed to go back to Maui and Kona and everywhere else over there. So Hawaii, um, they love reggae music and just is, is a special people over there. You know, yeah, man. So you surf as well? Yes, I surf and I do vertical skateboarding and ride motocross, bike. I want to try the snowboarding. I don't get to try that one yet. You know, and you know, we do everything from horse riding to golf and tennis oh. and soccer and everything. Cause you know, soccer we can't leave out the ball. Cause no, you know, that's yeah. the first thing. You know, of course, yeah. Man. <laughs> so, but speaking of the snowboarding, so you planning on on coming over to Europe with your music? Yes, I want to come to Europe and do a tour in 2014. I already have a couple of festivals um that I'm in negotiations with right now. So I'm hoping to come to Europe and bring the vibe there because if Jamaica get to see it and um, America get to see it, then why not Europe? And I even went to Africa. I was in West Africa, the Gambia. I did three shows there in stadiums, Brikama Stadium, um, Brufoot Sunsplash and Saragunda Stadium. 
So Gambia is a country in Africa that really loves reggae music, especially. Yeah. So was that your first time to Africa? That's my first time to Africa. I spent a month in Africa living there amongst the people and it was a great, 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 great experience. Yes. <laughs> So I hope you get to experience a lot more great things with your music traveling the world. Of course, you have to come in winter for the snowboarding when you come to Europe. Yes, but <laughs> when she more come snowboard at Europe and play some festival, I hang out to the old Reggaeville camp. <laughs> All right, that's what we're going to do. So until then, Alex, I wish you all the best. Take good care until we see you over in Europe. And maybe you want to give them a little jamming right now. No problem, Munchi Reggae feel ye ah ye ah ye ah. Praise for I, for I, I, I. Praise for I, or as the for I, I, I. Reggae feel Alex Rebel Mali, Munchi, with Julian Day, yeah. Whoa, oh, oh, praise for I, for I. Thank you so much. Yes, let's see nice. love. <laughs> Wonderful.